Oh my goodness, this setup is absolutely disgusting. Nightmare Shredder, welcome to insanity. Hello my beautiful and amazing people, Uncle Butcher in the building, if you're new here, hey, welcome to the family bastard, hit that like, smash that sub or leave a hateful comment, it truly really depends on your preference, and guys, let's cut all the cheese and let's get into it straight away, because today I have for you something really really special, Shredder setup. And let's face it, in Back 4 Blood game you have only couple ways how you can directly increase your DPS output. One of them is of course using two primary weapons, second one reload speed and swapping your hands or swapping weapons. But what if you could get all these things in one setup? But first things first, you should choose wisely your main character. And we are gonna rock here with Walker because the spoilers meta synergy second tip goddamn weapon attachments they are so important in this game so please make sure that you are using correct ones with the right attributes and you should use here those ones which will increase your swap speed and the same story with your magazine you should use the magazine which will increase your magazine size and second tier attributes should provide you with weapon damage or bullet penetration Next tip, please don't use in this setup LMG class and assault rifle class together because those type of weapons will use the same type of ammo so you will run off out of ammo pretty goddamn quickly. And last tip, please don't use Vector. It's really good SMG, that bad boy has crazy fire rate and unfortunately that's the reason why that SMG will not be effective in this setup. So now let's move to my deck of cards. First card is Admin Reload and it will give me basically no reload in this setup. Of course I'm losing a little bit ammo but for that reason I'm using Ammo Belt, my second card. But once I will switch my hands or if I will put my weapon in holstered mode it will be reloaded immediately and absolutely ridiculous card is Power Swap. By swapping your weapons at the right moment, and the right moment is when your bullets are in that red color, you will receive 20% weapon damage boost. And I have to remind you that glass cannon will provide you with 25% weapon damage boost. That's by far the best weapon damage talent, but there you're gonna lose 30% from your health. In this one, you have to make sure the timing is perfect and this game tells you when to swap your weapons. And I got you brother, it could be pain in the ass to nail the timing at the beginning but there is a reason why people saying practice makes perfect. I truly believe with a couple runs you will have no issues whatsoever to proc that card and receive free damage boost. Next card for me is 2 is 1 and one is none and this card will immediately increase your dps output because now you can use two primary weapons but please make sure that you are not using assault rifle with lmg class because these two type of weapons will use the same type of ammo and unfortunately that means you will run out of ammo pretty gun damn quickly so please use smg with shotgun Shotgun with Assault Rifle class or SMG with Assault Rifle class. It depends on your preference. Next card for me is Cocky and this one will increase my swap speed. By far the best card for swap speed in the game. And like I told you, that's the reason why we're gonna use Walker as well. Because with this card I'm using, losing excuse me, accuracy by receiving damage. But Walker by precision kills will give me that accuracy back perfect synergy to me my sixth card is guns out oh 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 again super super good card swap speed in the building and that's all we need here seventh card for me is face your fears and 
by this point I think you know what this card means by killing mobs in close range I will heal myself I will get that extra health a card is tactical vest ammo and damage and it depends what type of weapons you're gonna rock so if you need shotgun damage you could replace this card so keep that in mind 9 card is silver bullet damage penetration baby and don't worry about losing money money is uh, pointless here you will have enough money to get ammo healing med kits attachments and so on 10 card is my carrier again ammo and damage for my current weapon 11 card durable resistance extra health you could maybe switch this card for weak point damage it depends on your preference if you want to go more to dps side but we need some defensive cards as well 12th one is confident healer this one is really nice in team play we are gonna stack this card pretty goddamn quickly so whole team will receive 50% damage third 13 one oh, oh lucky 13 <laughs> is glass cannon glass cannon again is one of the best weapon damage talents in the game but I'm losing health but at the end damage is all we need in this game next one is shredder again you're gonna stay so quickly this card that it's not even funny dps output is amazing and last one is breakout i think breakout is kind of necessary if you play in team or in solo because you will get stuck all the time somewhere so this card can save a lot of time a lot of health and a lot of nerves for your teammates especially on nightmare difficulty <laughs> so uh, of course you could maybe swap this card for again weak point damage or extra ammo or maybe survivability reasons you could use some kind of resistance card or maybe numb with that uh, extra health which will given or which will be given to you by face your fears you could receive immediately again resistance so you have options what to do here but shredder is really nice card i would recommend you to stick at least with five, five cards my five cards honestly okay i'm tripping i would recommend you to stick with my 10 cards in this order and then you could swap some cards here and there out for example if you want to use shotgun class you could use shotgun cards in the first or top 10 cards but i mean at the end of the day it depends on your preference and play style and guys if you need supply points please do this mission heralds of the warm part one and honestly if you have the right setup and i mean pyromaniac or support dude which will show grenades non-stop you can clear this mission in 40 seconds maybe one minute but what a lot of people don't know that actually by continuing next mission is pretty simple as well if on your team is the same dude with grenades you can complete next level in one or two minutes as well and with that you will receive basically 70 80 or 90 supply points in five minutes so definitely do these two missions in a row and uh, have fun before this mission will get patched and if you need that side objective that container is on the left side here you can pick it up on your way to the safe house it's pretty quick simple mission make sure you are rocking it with good squad but i mean you can complete it even with really bad cards with bots you don't need anyone to complete this mission simply the easiest mission and free supply points pretty 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 nice and unfortunately grind is real in this game and oh, i need rest anyway butcher is dropping the mic see you in the next one bye